All right, folks, Missouri State Senator Maria Chappelle Nadal could very well lose her job if she does not resign by today. She posted a comment a few weeks ago on her personal Facebook page that she hoped President Donald Trump is assassinated. The comment was posted after Trump's many side statement regarding the violence at the white supremacist rally in Charlottesville. First, she refused. First of all, she quickly deleted uh, the post. First, she refused to apologize. Then, after much scrutiny and pressure, including from the governor and others, she decided to make a public apology. I want to make this apology to our president and his family. President Trump, I apologize to you and your family. I also apologize to all of the people in Missouri. And I also apologize to my colleagues in the Missouri legislature for the mistake that I made. And I made a mistake, and I'm owning up to it. And I am not ever going to make a mistake like that again. And I have learned my lesson. My judge and my jury is my Lord Jesus Christ. Well, now Republicans and Democrats in the Missouri legislature are calling on her to resign from office. Governor Eric Greitens posted this on Twitter. If she will not resign, the Senate can vote to remove her. I believe they should. Senator Chappelle Nadal maintains that she wrote the post because of her frustration with the situation and doesn't wish any harm towards President Trump. Let's go to our panel with this. Someone started this way. Flip the script. White state senator from Missouri post on Twitter, Facebook that President Obama should be assassinated. Black folks would be saying that person needs to resign. Should she resign? Sliding scale. No, she shouldn't resign. There's a First Amendment in the United States. But again, it's different rules for black people. This guy, Warren Love, in the Missouri, uh, on the House side, he says that they should hang the people who are throwing paint on these Confederate monuments. And they say, well, then both of them should, it should apply, equal rules should apply to both of them. The guy on the Senate side says, I want to apply equal rules. Maria Chappelle made a mistake, but look at this. She's on television apologizing, calling to Jesus, because as a black woman, she's got a sliding scale. Of course she can. Meanwhile, the president of the United States is out there talking about give rough rise to prisoners, beat them up, talking about protesters should be beat up. The attorney general of the United States is saying protect the police, whatever they're doing, they need to be able to do. There's no double, there's a triple, quadruple standard here in America. No, she Angela? should not resign. I mean, look, I think all of our elected leaders have got to be more accountable for what they do and what they say. They're in leadership positions. Um, the, the people of this country are looking to them and electing them into those positions because they expect for them to operate in a certain way. And so I think that across the board, our leaders have got to act more responsible and they owe it to the, the public. They owe it to the citizens of the United States. So yes or no, should she resign? I think she should, and I think every leader who is making a statement to that, those e kind of egregious statements should also. Spencer? You know, number one, what she said was wrong, right? That doesn't have a place in our political uh, dialogue. Number two, this is really politics, right? I mean, Democrats and Republicans in Missouri are doing what's in their political interest in terms of calling for her to resign, and I think she has apologized. No, 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 remember, right. remember. Remember, she was adamant she was not going to apologize. Right. Right. Then, when there was the okay. pressure, right. right. Then there was the okay. statements. Then she apologized. Okay. This, so it's, it's not like, okay, posted it, deleted it, immediately apologized, show remorse, show defiance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the pressure. Then the apology. Right. I just. And so, and yeah, and, and I'm, I'm, I, I don't. Let me just be clear. I do not think black people will be this forgiving if. The, if, if the flip, if the script was flipped, the the, the, the problem here. But, but, but Trump here's the, does say stuff like no, this. No, Trump no, no, no. Does say, and, he, I, and there's no apology. Right. And here's the piece: when you are a elected official, right. and when you are calling for the assassination of the president yeah, of the I'd United be completely States, wrong. Completely I don't look, wrong. I don't care. I don't care if it's Trump. I don't care if it's anybody else. That is extremely problematic Absolutely. and, and, and it simply cannot be excused. And now, again, she has to decide by the day. She is, she is going to be thrown out. It's and according pressure. to their law, of course it's political pressure. Right, right. And they do all the committees. Right. Eight committees she's been taken off by the Democrats. Right. I mean, here's, here's the, the fundamental question is this. 
can even elected officials have the protections of the Constitution? As we talked about in that death penalty case, that guy was a bad case, but then there is the law. Right. The law is harsh, but it's the law. Do we allow politics to trump the Constitution of the United but, but, States? But, but, That's but a this isn't point. a constitutional question, right? This is really it's a political a question. Well, First Amendment, she can say whatever she wants. She's not entitled to a seat in but, the Senate. Well, 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 the voters sent her well, back. No, 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 again, again, it, you're right by the First Amendment, but as we all know, you have the First Amendment rights, but there are also consequences to what you say. Sure. And in this case, uh, likely will be kicked out and could very well lose her pension. Now, if the law allows for her to run again, I wouldn't be surprised uh, yes, if right. the voters reelect her. Sure. But this is, we talked about accountability earlier. earlier. Right. This is also what happens when you are a public official, sure. when you make those kinds of statements. That is a, when you talk about the assat caught, when it you post wrong. that, I don't Completely care, wrong. I don't care yep. how frustrated and pissed yep. off you yep. are yep. with Donald Trump right. or Sessions or anybody else. I don't care how pissed off a Tea Party was with President Obama. That goes far than anything else. You, she crossed a line and will likely pay this price. And that's the result of crossing that line. Right. But the, the question is, should she pay the price? That's really the question. I mean, at the end I don't think it's a question of should, she will. Now that's true. She will. In terms of There's, I, mean, I don't care. You can not going to find a Republican or Democrat who's going to say, ah, we're good. No. Calling for the assassination of a president, even if it's a quick post on a Facebook page, as an elected official, you are expected mm -hmm. to know better <laughs> and act appropriately. Uh, unless you are white. And guess what? But, and if you're white, we're going to say the exact same thing. That's true. Again, standard is a standard. Weekdays on TV One. I will never lie to you. Oh, my God. Roland Martin. He doesn't want to talk to us. He wants to ignore us. Uncensored. Hell no. no. That ain't going to cut it, boo. Unapologetic. No, no, that, that is fundamentally false. You are wrong. Unfiltered. He wants an America where we all look alike. He ain't talking about black people. Unrelenting. You better go work out because you got to fight on your hands. News One Now with Roland Martin, weekdays at 7 a.m. on TV One.